But what we can talk about that we're going to be playing tonight is this one. Now, I went on a search through Goldfish. I find Goldfish user submitted decks is not a bad place to look, considering some of the places I used to look for our deck lists don't post them nearly as much as they used to. And we uh, we stumbled across Babs Brew. Babs Brew had a couple lists. I actually searched two separate things and found Babs Brews twice. So it felt fitting to play one of their one of their lists tonight. Now we're gonna be playing blue black reanimator. Pretty simple. Pretty simple. We're gonna be using new cards and Really what we are trying to find is this Echo of Eons plus Narset. And I found a Days Undoing and I had a blue red list that I was kind of putting together. Had some hollow ones in there and burning inquiries. And I talked to Dylan a little bit about that and we kind of came to the conclusion that you just ditch the hollow ones, you play Murktide. And I don't want to play Giant Dragon. If I'm going to play something cool, it's going to be Archons and I prefer a different Archon, but this one will do. So, kept looking. This one had Liliana the Bale, and Liliana's coming back to us in the latest set. And this one had an Echo, and I was like, that seems good. Now, I was initially very upset. I was like, ah, there was two days undoing, two Echoes I was trying to fit into that blue red list. And I was like, one, ah, this just seems like a joke. All right, Echo of Aeons, if it happens, off of Liliana. And then I saw this card, and I was like, I understand now. So, this is what we're going to try to do. We have the Grief package in here in the blue-black kind of category, basically giving us the option to not play Thoughtseize, which is very interesting to me. We have the Undying Malice, and we have Rebirth over here. I'm a little nervous that there's 18 lands plus two Rebirths, but we're gonna go with it. The total, dare I say, mana you need is kind of two. We can do some Narsets and Lilianas and then Echo from the Graveyard at three, but it's generally two. It's, it's just two. So we've got that going on for us. Um, one thing that I'm a little bit nervous about is graveyard hate against us, but we're going to go with the list as is. I, I figure why not get an idea of what they were trying to put together and then make some changes. My initial feeling is that you need something for Leyline of the Void or Artifacts. We have the Hercules Recall and we have Ceremonious Rejection, which could kind of help us there. But I need to get like a Relic or a Soul Guide Lantern or something off the table. We'll see. We'll see. Otherwise, we can play some Ledger Shredders, we can play some Griefs, we can attack our opponents, hopefully strip their hands. Value, you know, maybe a little surprised not to see as many counter spells in a list like this, but we're going to try it. We're going we're gonna to just try it. And, and with that, no more talking. Let's go. It's that easy. You just hit the go button. And then we see if we light. 100 play points on fire, or if we enjoy ourselves tonight. I'm hoping that we get to do the Narset, Narset Echo at some point. Yeah, that shuffles everything back in and stuff, so you can't persist something immediately after. But being that you would draw so many cards, and I'd hope to do that after maybe having like a Ledger Shredder out. That was the idea. With the Ragavan Darcy Blue Red list, I'd have one or two threats. I'd be able to daze undoing or Echo, and then just inevitably being able to attack down and having a bunch of cards, surely I was going to be able to interact with my opponent. That's kind of the idea here. I'm a little nervous that the Archon, if we don't get the Graveyard going, it's going to be too expensive to play, but just see. We'll see. we got to get into these games. we got to try them out. We have Unlicensed Hearst over here too. We could exile some stuff, and then Crew 2 shouldn't be too hard with Ledger. It should grow to a 2-4 relatively quickly. Yeah. Seems good. Let's just try it. We're gonna try this. If we have enough time, we'll play a little Red Prison or Red Rage, one of the two. I forgot to uh, schedule the video from last time for YouTube folks, so they're just sitting there wondering if I've left them again. That's okay. That's okay. It is literally sitting there. It didn't save the ad stuff and it didn't save the uh, timestamps, so maybe that was good, because if I would have just put it live, they would have been hit with about 
30, 20 or 30 ads. It's crazy. All right. We have Super Lemon Haze as our opponent. We have a Ledger, Consider, Fatal Push, three lands. Three lands in our 20 some odd list. We're playing against what appears to be Burn. This is great. I feel good. Now, Grief might have to just be played later, I suppose. This is good. Got got a couple ledger shredders. Those should be relatively large. This 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 feels good. I, I like this start. Gets our feet wet here. Ooh, ooh. I don't I don't I don't like two Swiss beers. I am gonna kill one. I don't need to be digging for anything just yet. Let's try to work our way towards that archon. That's the idea, right? Okay. Persist is cool. Let's start with the ledger shredder. Pass the turn. We only have one basic swamp, so this would have to shock in. We'll keep that in mind. <clears throat> believe there's two basic islands, one basic swamp. All right, does my opponent kill the ledger shredder? I actually think that the block is worth it here. I don't see a reason not to block, really. They just bounce off each other. If they have three damage to this anyway, they're killing it. Rift Bolt suspended and nothing else happens here. All right, I can put a Ledger Shredder and Consider. Seems good, let's shock in and do such things. Now we get to do this, Traeger. All right, so this is draw a card, then discard a card. If you discarded a non-land card, okay, non-lands, land. <laughs> I can get rid of the persist and just do grief grief here. That seems reasonable. And we have consider. Uh no, I will take that card. I will take that Liliana cuz we can now Liliana and grief if we wanted to to grow the ledgers potentially. Potentially. Rift Bolt coming off of Suspend here. Going to be probably either tagging with Shredder or going for my face. Face it is. One Prowess trigger. Ledger Shredder is more than likely going to be blocking here. Opponent's sitting at one land. I'm feeling like we got a good shot here. I get to do the whole Connive thing again. That's just busted. That's just busted. <laughs> they just give up. They give up. We did show them the persist, unfortunately. They just give up, though. All right. <laughs> Whoa, K.O. Okay, well, Diamonds. What are you doing here? How's it going? You getting to see us do wacky things tonight? A Babs Bob brew that I found on Goldfish. Were rhinos had tonight or were rhinos not? We need to know if we need to heckle you some. Basic swamp, two basic islands. Um, no. Fluster Storm could be valuable. Um, Dress Down, maybe not. Her close recall, no. Unlicensed first, nah. So Fluster Storm's Collective Brutality. The Spell Pierce seems good. Fatal Pushes seem good. As much as I want to do the whole Narset thing, it actually doesn't feel like the right, right game to do this. We can probably take a pair of these out in the Echo. And just take maybe a singleton persist out, or or maybe the one on Mark Grave. There we go. That seems pretty small. Thank you, suck these days. You're the second person to mention this shirt. <laughs> or mention baseball, I suppose. All right, I have a Collective Brutality. I have a Consider. I have Unmarked Graves. I do not have a Persist. Uh, man, this 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 feels like a problem waiting to happen. I mean, I can't... All right, we'll keep it. We'll keep it. We'll believe in the faith of the top of the library to be a land somewhere in the top three or four cards. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling F6. What are they gonna do? Try to try to defend the graveyard? Exactly. Get that out of here. 
I'm hoping the collective brutality is just super valuable. That's that's the hope here. Land. Oh, game's almost over. <laughs> All right, I got to find a land and a couple a draw, a surveil. Going to fetch watery grave to do this. This still would be two turns away, but opponent's going to get their career ended. I have to shock in for this, I think. I do have only one other island in the list. I could potentially fetch and not shock, meaning that I only have technically one miss on the lands, but that should shorten how many things I can hit. Yeah, maybe that's kind of worth it because I'm getting burned out here. I gotta hit that land. I mean, I would get to collect a brutality if I hit anyway. Go to nine with the fetch. I go a lot lower. Eh. Let's just let's just take the fetch. Let's go for the basic. I, I miss on one card here. I put I put the island on the bottom. I shuffled it to the bottom. Consider. Waiting for a land. Put that in the graveyard. Uh oh. Needing a land. I need a land real bad. Come on, land. Oh. We're not there. We're not there. Let's see what they're drawing and pass the turn. Oh, they're drawing a land. That's maybe good. That could be three spells. Uh we went all in on the one lander. It was a bad idea. Sunbay Canyon. They have a wooded foothill, so they have two spells at most. Rift bolts me. Okay. Attacks me down to four. Come on, land. Fetch for fetch for black or Ugh. Oh, we went all in on the one. Oh, we were going to hit the island first. Oh, I'm punished. Okay. <laughs> let's go again. Let's keep two lands. Let's, let's try to find two lands. Opponent's, opponent's career continues on, KO. All right, KO, you didn't answer, though. Sea Driner or no? Sea Driner would be great in this matchup, by the way. Modern All-Star. We are also attempting to drink some of uh, some pH adjusted ionized water or something like that. I don't understand. Basically, Gatorade it has electrolytes or something. Give it a try. Fancy water. All right. I want to play first. Uh, yes. Keep this because I have the Undying and get rid of the, the Unmarked. I have way too many lands now, but oh well. <laughs> now I have too many lands. This should be okay, though. Grief taking two things here. The fancy electrolytes? Yeah, fancy electrolytes. All right. Because uh, I don't think I need anything for the Mark Grave. Do things correctly here. All right. So we have a Sanctifier that could be really problematic. I think I just take the Sanctifier here. This is going to come back as a 4-3. I just take the bolt. Yeah. Just take the bolt. 4-3. Opponent's got a pain land here and can only hit face. I smack them. They'll searing blaze this, undoubtedly. But they got to hit the land. I can put probably Watery Grave in tapped. Let's hit something juicy. It's reasonably juicy. I'm gonna shock in a watery grave. It's aggressive to shock there. I kind of like the shock though, so I can use the consider here. I could get a fatal push. I can respond to the Eidolon. 
Swifty is not of concern. I will I will do this now though, because I could hit a fatal push. Bobble, we can graveyard that. Okay, hit a persist. That is a okay with me. I don't have anything in the graveyard yet, but if they put the grief in the graveyard with the searing blaze, I can get it back. Hitting all our lands that come into play untapped. I guess that's good. Opponent's going to 10. Car. If it persists back, the only problem is it's gonna be a two one. It'll be really, really tiny. Ooh, Goblin Guide. All right, well, I don't have any more lands to hit. Do they defend? They don't, they go for it. A persist again, that's not good. Now I have all my persists. I have the wrong side of the library here. Land drop, swing in, pass turn. Could have used the polluted delta to filter the top with the goblin guy, but I don't think I need to be doing that. They're looking for just land searing blaze here. Do they find the land? This is three damage. A little more if they find like a spike or something. But if they do that, then they could die. Sacred Foundry here, a shock, and then pay one here to Searing Blaze. Two, four, five, six, seven, puts me to three Boros Charm lethal. I persist back to get the Boros Charm out of hand. I mean, this has to die. The grief has to die. So I'm looking for maybe a Ledger Shredder off the top or something like that. I mean, we know the play. It's It's got to be this. You're at three, opponent. Collective Brutality is a, a kill off the top. So I have two of those. <clears throat> trying to think what else. I could do Narset and look for the Brutality. Failing to find it, Persist, Remove Boros Charm. They could play Eidolon here and then hold Goblin Guide plus Eidolon back. That gives me four Fatal Pushes, one Lili Liliana to find. Four Narsets dig for Fatal Pushes as well as outs. If they do play the Eidolon, it makes it a little awkward for me to play something like a Persist, but I could swing. They have to double block. I remove Eidolon, Goblin Guide, Persist back, and remove the Boros Charm. That doesn't feel correct for them. There we go. They figured it out. They have found the line. Down to seven I go. They attack. I'll be taking Boros Charm, and I'm hoping for something like Collective Brutality. We do find the Ledger Shredder, so we have that going for us as well. So definitely play Ledger Shredder. Definitely persisting here. Archon would be great to put in the graveyard. So we could grow this or draw. I think I leave the Ledger Shredder as a 1-3. Grief, the Boros Charm. Two Eidolons. Ay -ay -ay. Well, Boros Charm kills me. Eidolon technically doesn't. I'm playing this now because they're going to probably play an Eidolon, although that sort of locks them out of the game, too. Bob will see what they're drawing. It's a Soul Guide Lantern. Okay, it doesn't end me, but that would make this a 2-3. But if they choose to do Soul Guide Lantern, then they're not... They can do Soul Guide Lantern after blocks, but then I could block here. Gonna draw. Man, I found all the lands apparently. All right, opponent, what do you got? That's fair. That's fair. I could have done that. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. That's very much a a line. I mean, I, I kind of get to if they play Eidolon anyway, I fly over right now because they have a Sunbaked Canyon. I think the Sunbaked Canyon is kind of the key here. 
And if they play the Eidolon, they really can't attack too much here. They do prowess the Swift Spear. Remove something from the graveyard. We're missing the V. Sort of a consider. I can block here, I can block here. No more activate uh, things. They don't want to draw with this. Goblin Guide would do whatever. Okay. We draw a Narset. I think I win here. I am high chance to find the card to connive with. We'll see. Look at all these cool cards we got. Let's go ahead and grab a Fatal Push. That looks like that'll win it for me. All right, maybe the Ledger Shredder growing it was a good idea. You're probably not wrong. We getting our feet wet, getting the feet wet, figuring out the lines, getting the W. It's a good start. And against Burn, against Burn with something. Hey, I mean, like if we would have had thought seasons over the griefs, we could have we could have definitely lost. And we only lost game two because I I kept a one lander. What's the V for, Last God? I'm confused. There's no V in colors. It's Wooburg, not Vuberg. <laughs> oh, Last God. <sighs> Those were the days. Zale and I were having a chat in Discord about it. Those were the days. And then a certain card got printed in Modern Horizons, and that was the end of the Lark. The Lark was no more. And then they printed a different Archon. It, it's like this card was Vesper Lark, and this card was our Archon. And, and they printed them, and they were like, we see what Fluffy's doing, but um, we need to help everybody else out. <clears throat> That's what happened. That that is that is indeed what happened. I think in the last game I held the persist because I'm just like constantly hoping that I'm going to be able to put something like an archon in the graveyard. Small brain prints. <laughs> yeah, this is body double. This is our archon. This is our woodfall. This was Vesper Lark. This was essentially like the stitchers and the, the the crabs undying the unmarked. Then we had uh, footsteps of the Gorio removal. I mean, even consider would have been a better card than I thought scours that we occasionally played. Ah, yeah, last god. Getting it done with Mardu reanimate. Mardu is a good reanimator shell. I feel like blue black's really good and Mardu's really good. As soon as you throw green in the mix, it's all just not reanimator anymore. <laughs> I mean, there's good reanimator targets and stuff. What's going on here? Two minutes and 30 on the, the queue here. Oh, uh, I guess there's like 400 less people than normal. Bummer. Bummer. Less blood moons. Speaking of Blood Moons, our latest follower six minutes ago was Blood Moon Go. Seems appropriate for the channel. All right, we're, we're just sitting here. We're approaching three minutes now. Hey. <laughs> blood Moon Go in the house. Now we just got to find turn one Blood Moon and then Blood Moon on the play. And then what else can we find? Turn 25 Blood Moon. <laughs> well, the bad Blood Moons too. All right. Opponent may be found. We'll see if they accept our challenge. Moon off monkey. Ah, which monkey? Simeon Moon go. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, oh, one lander. All right. We learned our lesson. We can't do this. Let's mulligan this hand. Uh oh. All right, I'm going to keep it because I have unmarked grip, but I have two bobbles this time. So we're going to keep. 
Norris is kind of a little ways away from being played. We'll do it this way. I've kept a one lander again, but we are on the draw and I have several draws and I can use the fetch land to filter the top here. We'll see if they've got a good old thought seize. <laughs> this has been my concern. Just looking at the list with 18 plus a two. Oh, snap. Okay. Oh, all right. We hit. Let's bobble. Let's check ourselves. Say, okay. It's called in turn bobble. Check them. Cool. And we'll take the first draw here. And then on the second, I'm gonna fetch just a thin library ever so slightly. And then we'll take whatever this is. Cool. All right, not a bad, not a bad start. I feel like I have to like unmark grave first, but maybe, maybe I don't, I don't know. Sounds like Ren and Six. Oh, they're exploring. All right. Hmm. <laughs> Bobble. Hard evidence. And we're going to just persist or unmark grave here. Make an archon. Okay. The Archon kind of answers them. Ooh, Persist plus Undying Mouse on our Archon sounds hilarious. <laughs> we'll see if that comes to fruition here. I'm going to get rid of the ledger. Oh, Jace. Oh, they can bounce. Ugh. Ugh. Bouncing seems terrible for us. Hmm. Bouncing seems terrible. Maybe I just Narset here. Narset and find something else. There's a fatal push and a consider. I'm gonna take the fatal push on the off chance that they don't have the creativity right here and then I can fatal push that away. But if they do and I lose Narset and they're able to get two Archons, I can persist my Archon Undying, I think, and getting rid of Unmarked and Ledger Shredder if they get two here. Vibbly babbly boo. Unmarked Grave on two. Let's draw a card. Isn't that hard? Persist brings Archon to kill you. It's one extra syllable, isn't it? Just get rid of the brings. Archon to kill you. That, that's all it. Uh, this is really bad. Hmm. I almost want to land here so I can persist the Archon, Fatal Push, and have Undying Malice open. I hit a Consider. So we fatal. I don't think this works how I want it to either. Let me persist Archon first. I know they're going to just get rid of the dwarf token. Do it the land. I can consider. Graveyard, pass turn, Undying Malice, or Archon. When it dies, it comes back, and then it kills one of theirs, and we can block, hoping they don't bounce with Jace. <laughs> as long as they don't bounce with Jace, I think I'm okay. If they go bouncy-bouncy here, we're in trouble. I could have left up uh, and waited on the... No, I hit the land off the consider, right? All right, they're drawing. Okay. I'm going to lose the two cards and then draw something new. Dying Malice. 
This is this is fun. <laughs> the Battle of Archon. It's a shame because I'm gonna only get the dwarf token, but I will block one. Then I can swing. I could attack Jace. They they bolt. Uh oh, oh oh, they bolted. Oh, now I just die. All right. No, no, just die. All right. Luster Storm seems potentially useful here. Dress Down might have value. Mystical Dispute potentially could as well. Definitely feel like my Echo Narset plans a bit better in this matchup. Grief seems really good in this matchup. Fatal pushes are probably needed. I feel like I just want to ditch all the baubles for like things like this. And maybe get like one or two mystical disputes in here. I wonder how much they're going to target the graveyard or if they're just going to try to do their thing still. Liliana seems a little bit bad in this matchup. We take out one fatal push like if i have the mystical dispute i can stop them targeting two things but if i have the fatal push i can hit one thing Bam. All right. I think I'm good. I, I could maybe the Liliana over one Narset here is maybe just slightly better. Because you could down tick or up tick continuously and kind of pressure them. I think I'll just go with the Narset though. This feels like they're doing like the better Archon thing. I have a Spell Pierce and a Narset. I have a random persist, but I don't have unmarked grave or other things to get stuff in the graveyard. We're going to try this. Um, the reason I want to try this is I want to get a little bit of a feeling of what a hand looks like that's got Narset, a little bit of like the pieces, but not necessarily all of it together. And I like that I have four lands with how ridiculous this has been so far. And I think I'm just going to nail this right here. Let's keep things interesting with our opponent. Get pierced instantly. Denied. Okay, dress down's a good cycle card. Probably gonna use this as a cycle more than anything else. I could hit that Archon, but I like the cycle here. Explore, okay. And we'll get Narset going here. I feel like I'm just gonna be a little too slow. But oh, that's interesting. But I did this at end step. So I don't have the ability of the grief here. Man. So do you just unmark grave to set up the persist? kind of want to. I want to do the Narset, but I think on Mark Grave here is just fine. On Mark Grave, put the Archon in the graveyard. Dress Down finishes up. I have the Persist. I have a Narset afterwards. I'd like something for Grief to pitch here. Jam Narset? I mean, definitely could have. I'm not finding like Force of Negation, though, in this list. I wouldn't be able to pitch it anyway. All right, there's Ren and Six. I'm going to be able to... Uh, I guess it's going to depend. They fetch, they get the little dwarf. 
It's not a bad card to find here. All right, I still think I persist Archon, because I'm going to draw a card. Uh, let's go get our basic Swamp. It's a dwarf. I guess they're going to sacrifice the dwarf because Ren and Six just, you know, picks up the next card here. Okay, we draw. Watery Grave. That's not what we wanted. <laughs> all good, all good. I assume that we're going to be doing something where they, they use this. Uh, uh, land drop, one, two, three, X, one. Fluster Storm should be two. If I'm doing my math correctly. So this should get it. Counter, counter. Well, Veil stops that. Right? <clears throat> so get our arc and we lose our arc on. I guess I'll lose water. Get one, two, three. I could play Narset here and potentially get another Persist. I don't feel like Grief is really doing it for me. It's just going to die. So let's play the higher Narset plan here. Play our Narset. Hope for a Persist. Oh, gosh. Well, we can try again. <laughs> uh, land drop go. Dang, Veil of Summer. Dang, Veil of Summer. All right, well, I imagine they're just going to clock us for a lot here. And I'll get rid of the Fatal Push. We'll rinse and repeat, try again. Problem is the Wooded Foothills is obviously going to protect them. I'm going to seven. I'm dead pretty much on board at this point. Uh, that's an interesting one. Can flash that in when they go to combat. Let's see what we hit. I did find the persist. I mean, if I don't persist and they just go, they attack for six and can kill with the Ren and six. Kind of sucks. So I guess I have to persist. Am I just dead on board all around here? I think I'm just dead on board all around. I guess I'm gaining life here, but that's not going to be enough because this is nine anyway. Oh, they have spell pierce. All right. You yeah. know, I don't think it mattered what we played. <laughs> they had the veil. They had the, the spell pierce. Simple as that. One, two punch and we're out of there. My opponent's doing the better Archon thing, but we're doing the cooler Archon thing. All right. Let's find a non-Archon list. I'd even play against four color. Magic Online. Give me the four color menace. I'll take it on. We gotta try to do this echo too. If I have Narset plus Unmarked Grave, definitely gonna go for that echo play. It'd be great to be able to unmark then echo all at the same time, being five mana, but I just don't see that happening with our total mana. Blood Moon Go, you changed your color. You were purple only about a moment ago. But only a moment ago. Da, 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 da. Longer cues tonight. 
find that very interesting. Wonder what's going on. What are people playing? Pioneer? <laughs> Can't play Blood Moon in Pioneer. They'll never print Blood Moon into Pioneer. Therefore, we will never move from Modern to Pioneer. It's, it's, a, it's a fact. Why not Rakdos reanimate? Because I wanted to play Echo and Narset. That's what I wanted to play tonight. Therefore, those cards are blue. And this was a cool one by Bab Babsol or Bab Babs. What was her name? What was her name? Babs Brew. Found them when when a when a looking. Three minute queue again. Ugh. Ugh. It's gonna be a long night, not because of the games, but because of the, the queue times. So this one's kind of cool because yeah, you have the Liliana, you have the Ledger Shredder, and you have the Consider to get things in the graveyard, plus a Mark Grave. So you got four, eight, 12, 13 cards that put stuff in the graveyard. You could grief yourself as well, I think. Nope, target opponent. Okay, so you can't grief yourself. People don't want to play versus me? Yeah. Yeah, they're scared. They're afraid of running into Blood Moon. And we're not even playing Blood Moon. What's up, DB? Hmm. Our opponent is Time to Dop deck. Wow, this is a weird hand. Uh, let's keep. Keep Polluted Delta past turn. We're going to wait. I've got some stuff that can do interesting things. Well, now they're mulled to five. Yeah, I probably still wait. Combo? It's not Tron. Me, me thinks combo. Maybe I should bring in counter magic. I'm gonna bring in two fluster storms over two bobbles, hit submit. Could be like a Neo brand. Could be. Bobbles like is decent, but completely blank game two. <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll take my chances, I guess. All right, I got a little bit of kind of everything going on here. I guess I'll keep. All right, like I kept seven. Okay. <laughs> Swamp Inquisition. <laughs> hmm. I'm putting this deck. I'm just playing for a night. I'm gonna go back to Bloodman. Don't worry. Don't worry. We're not changing anything here. Definitely not Neo Brand. Opponent takes Bobble. All right. Scalding Tarn Go. Scalding Tarn Go. Factory. Ah. All right. Raven's Cry. <laughs> Show me the persist. Come on. Graveyard. Dang it. <laughs> so we're playing against Rack. I have way too many lands now, that's for sure. Raven's Crime. I'll just get a little of a land here. It seems decent. All right, we'll fetch, water grave tapped, looking for those persists. Uh, that would kind of work. Ironically, I would have to like ditch some cards. Let's just uh, play Bloodstain Minor Pass. Let's not worry about ditching cards just yet. Um, keep my Fatal Push in case they get frisky. And, you know, I can just hard cast Grief, so. To take Fatal Pusher Undying. I would take the Fatal Push personally because of this card, but 
Well, we'll see. Akavian's in the gray. Play Narsen. Only creature you play is Archon. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's very similar to what we're doing right here. All right, well, I'm going to grief him. The fact I have a second grief is pretty good, too. Grief him. Do they play creatures? Uh, they might. I mean, the fact that they left the fatal push means they don't care. <laughs> they don't care. All right, I'm trying to grief my opponent. They're allowing me. We have a wrench mine, Raven's Crime, Blood Chief's Thirst. I guess I just get rid of the wrench mine because if they hit there, I'm I'm kind of upset. Although the Liliana is kind of a pain too. Maybe I'll just take the Liliana because that actually gets rid of the grief. If they top deck the swamp, they get my other grief. Fine. But then I have this. If they don't top deck exactly the swamp here, the wrench mine's not happening. The Raven's Crime's only happening. The Fatal Push is going. I'm griefing them again. Looks like what's happening. Now I just take the Blood Chief's Thirst and smack them with a grief for a while. I'll probably play whatever's I get. Because the wrench mine, as soon as they get that swamp, they're just gonna they're gonna use it. Ooh, pithy needle, name Narset. I think they saw that, right? Pithy needle, name that Narset. Go. Hmm. They named Bobble. Oh, that's right. We went to this game so fast. All right. Grief them again. We'll take... At this point, I'll probably just take the wrench mine because I have a Narset in hand. I don't care if they kill one of these. It's a little ways away before they do that. In for three pass turn. Good luck. Good luck, Rack. You conceded. You didn't get any information. Now you just have a Nile spell bomb, which is relatively good against us. <laughs> Takes my graveyard. I guess we won't be looking for a persist here off this Narset. Drew an extra card. Six damage coming their way, though. No land, it appears, either. And opponent appears to have conceded. All right, fast game against Rack. I probably played, I don't know, I played Narset or Liliana. It doesn't really matter here. If I did play the Narset, it looks like I was going to find just a Fluster Storm. All right. Well, there you go. Opponent joins after the three-minute queue, concedes game one, not even doing anything, and proceeds to lose game two without much going on. One Swamp. One factory, nothing else. Perhaps, perhaps a newer player. I don't know. Don't know. Seemed uh, seemed a little mismanaged. I think. I think I would have still played the swamp. Thought seized Raven's crime, then conceded or something, just so they knew what they were playing against. Because, like, in that matchup, they probably wouldn't have hesitated to bring in something like Leyline of the Void so that I don't get a quick Grief or a quick Archon or something like that. Because they could have seen some of the stuff we were doing. All right, we're against Waffle House. We're playing first. We have the things that I like. Can we get a turn two Archon here? Woo! Man. We have a Fatal Push to interact with, a Consider to attempt to get something in the graveyard, an unmarked grave that can put something in the graveyard, Ledger Shredder as a threat, and a Persist. This is this is the hand you want. Rep Blue-Red, because that's the stuff we're on. Basic Forest, Bird. We're going for the high... Well, it's not even a high-value play. Consider, hit the Archon. Ooh, Rebirth is not it. Um, I guess... Do I put this in the graveyard? Yes. Cool. Hmm. 
Uh, <laughs> one further. Um, I think I fatal push here and play my land past the turn. The Archon was close. The Archon was close. Twilight Mire, no three drop or two drop. It's good to see. Do our own fetch here. Watery Grave, Dark Slick Shores seems good. Ledger Shredder, pass turn. Then if I hit a land, I can unmark plus persist, which is what I'd prefer to do. Grow the Ledger Shredder has the connive. Maybe put something in there and then unmark grave something good as well. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe I'm going to be a turn late, but I don't know. It seems good. They've only got three lands, and that's it. No creatures. Three mana, Geralt's Messenger. Cool. Land. Nice. All right, we can even we can even do this. So unmark Grave. Definitely putting an Archon down there, I think. I don't see a, another card I'd want to do. And we'll persist the Archon. Connive. I can throw this Archon down there now. And then we're going to draw a card. Geralt's Messenger. Blink. No. No. Well, there went our graveyard. It was cool. It was cool while it lasted, everyone. Main deck endurance. Dang it. <laughs> Dang it. They got rid of a Dryad Arbor. That sucks. Oh, Yogg. Yogi boys here. That's not good. Oh boy. Guess I can grieve. Yeah, we'll grieve. Take a card here. We have an Eldritch Evolution and a Strangle Root Geist. That's disgusting. I guess I'd rather them have the strangle root, but they can or the I might have wanted to pitch there for the undying malice. Yeah, I see what you mean by them. There. Might not have been a bad idea. I mean, I guess I just didn't expect them to have two good cards there because they've been kind of struggling to play initially. But yeah, yeah, I think you're you're not wrong. What do I have for the graveyard? Hearses, I think. Yeah, hearses. And some dress downs, probably, is about all I've got. Alright. Get these two horses. Um, don't mind Echo in, the, in our set. I think it's just going to be two bobbles. Let's hit some things. I wonder how reliant on the graveyard I should be here with the with all the endurances they can play. <clears throat> I'm gonna go all of these. This feels like it's a tough one because <clears throat> they should have four endurances if i recall and their hand 
is almost always <clears throat> all green cards for the most part. Garros Messenger, Yawgmoth. What else is not green? What else is not green, really? I mean, they play Veil, Outland, Liberator. I think that's it. There might be an... Oh, Blood Artist sometimes is played. That I guess that would be a black one. Lily seems weak. Maybe a Pierce. I have all my Spell Pierces in. Remember, Lily can help me get something in the graveyard, too. Maybe a dispute is better than Lily. It's hard to say. It's hard to say. I mean, usually when they're... Other than, like, Collected Company with the Convoke, <clears throat> Evolution and stuff, they, they should have most of the mana they need most of the time. This is just going to be a tough one. Get an unlicensed Hurst and see what happens. Alright, I would love to play first. Well, kind of interesting hand. Let's keep. And we'll look to grief and maybe persist all together next turn. Not going to worry about it first turn here. A little ignoble. I'm going to have to shock, it looks like. All right, Exile, Evoke goes underneath, so I can take a peek here. Strangle, Strangle, Veil. Well, I'll take the Veil, I guess. Take the Veil. That goes to the graveyard. Persist back here. And then take Yogmoth. I mean, they're so far... Well, they're not really that far away from Yogmoth with the Wall of Roots and the Land and the Ignoble. So I'll take the Yogmoth. I mean, I don't know what I'm going to be doing. I drew three of my four Nar sets. And this becomes a 3-2 when it attacks. I mean, I could block it. I think I, think I got to wait a turn or two before blocking. Choose his wall and then strangle. Okay. Narsotron incoming. We'll, we'll see. I'm at 13. I mean, blocking this just makes it faster. Woo! All right, I drew a land. That was needed. That was needed. Uh, we have a little more black in the list. Play Narset. Take a peek. I hit exactly unmarked grave. All right. <clears throat> That's not great. I think this time I have to block because I want to keep Narset here to do it again. That being said, they just play two strangle roots here and attack two at Narset or two at me. I'm blocking one of these. I feel like I need to find Hearse, like, now. Now, I could unmark Grave and then Echo if I keep the Narset around. We wanted to do that. We might not live very long after. All right. They go at Narset here. I think... I want to be able to use Narset, so boom, died. It's now a 3-2, 4-3 when it attacks. Surprised they didn't Strangle Root. There's a bird. You have Strangle Root and something else. All right, two unmarked graves. Let's fire off Narset here. We do find an unlicensed Hearst. Okay. I think I'll play that and pass turn.
It's gonna play another Narsa, but I don't think that's the right play here. They're hitting me for maybe four. They might attack the Narset. Remember, the Narset is kind of stopping them from drawing a lot from Yawgmoth. A reason for them to get rid of it. We know it's Strangle Root and something else in their hand. Okay. I guess just don't be Yawgmoth. <laughs> attack three at me, two at Narset. No surprises there. One card to beat. Need two things. Ledger Shredder. Let's attempt Narset instead. We use Narsic. Lily, Fatal, Undying. Fatal doesn't look too bad here. I'll take Fatal. Fast turn. It would at least hit the Strangle Root with the counter on it. I could also hit the other Strangle Root and eat it with Hearse. I'm taking five, maybe more. Hmm. Cord. Man, it's a good string of draws after our grief. Cord for three. Girl's Messenger. I'm dead on board. You got it, opponent. All right. Yog Moth beats us down. We're 2 2 with a little blue black Narset Echo Reanimator. Haven't gotten to do the Echo. We were close, I guess, that time. Could have maybe unmarked. Played a Narset. Maybe used it. Maybe, maybe. We got one more though. Going for that 3 2. Opponents 1 and 0. Let's see what we see what we can do. Two unmarked graves and a consider. We'll try it. What's up, Slayer Fault? Hey, how's it going? Spire Bluff. This will be the one time I don't have a fatal push. Let's go ahead and grief. Let's take expressive. Undying. Now I can block. I'm going to just take the Darcy. And I know my opponent's got two Murktides, but so what? So what? Yeah, the monkey check. Huh. We'll see, we'll see. Maybe I top deck up her sister something here. All right, in for two. I guess I don't want to top deck up her sister right here. They would use it. My opponent found a unmarked grave? No, they found it. Oh. 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 Oh, <laughs> they play that card. Oh. Well, that's awkward. Play Misty, play that out. Come on. Easy. Easy money, opponent. What else you looking for? There's your Misty. Cracks your misty. Play Snow Covered Island. Plays the Ledger Shredder. There you go. Bolt. Oh, 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 okay. We'll unmark Grave. I'm gonna throw an Archon down there. We know it's we know it's two Merc Tides, so I'll stay back to defend against Monkey here. We have two cards we don't know about. We we slamming. We slamming. Okay, we have one card we don't know about. It's really good, really good. Okay, I will block. 
Unless it flies, <laughs> then I won't block. I mean, we're going for it. They they might have... Oh, oh. There we go. We're going for it. We can shock this in. We can persist here. The Archon. I could get a fatal push. This is another reason to shock. I'm going to use the consider Archon triggers. Opponent discards with Murktide. We know about that. It's going to sacrifice my Shredder, probably. That jerk. It's a 5-5. Five, five. Three card types. Another Narset. Um, do I attack now? I attack. Get it? Get it? Like, I don't see a world in which I block here. Like, I'm not blocking Monkey anymore. We're just going to chunk him for dead next turn. Doesn't do anything. We'll consider it end step. It's not double bolt. Um, yeah, we can graveyard that. Bobble, unmark grave. Start with Bobble. See what we're drawing. Drawing an Archon. Guess we're drawing that arc on. I'm playing a Narset after here. One's got a little Ledger Shredder they're going to probably block with. Sacks the Ragavan, Spell Pierce to the Yard, Murktide in hand. Opponent's blocking to stay alive here. They're going to play a Murktide. I have them dead on board anyway, but, you know, Narset's a good draw here. Let's see what else we got. Opponent's got four card types. They could Unholy Heat here if they Unholy Heat. Plus Merc Tide. That'd be pretty good. Still dead to Grief. Let's uh, let's pick up Bobble. Let's play Bobble. Let's uh, see what they're drawing. Let's see if we win. Oh, yeah. All right. We win. Double draw. Feels good. Oh, and, and a Fatal Push. Oh, you're dead, opponent. You're dead. All right, so they're going to go after our graveyard for sure. Um, this is definitely more the Flusterstorm Mystical Dispute one here. I don't think I want Unlicensed first, but I might consider one. Okay. We want the Fatal Pushes. How hard do they go after our graveyard here? I mean, I think this is going to just come down to probably just the bobbles out for most of the counter magic and like maybe I trim one Narset. Liliana seems decent in this matchup. Griefs feel all right. I know drawing with Bobble would be nice, but I think some counter magic's really important. I think the other Mystical Dispute needs to be in here. Maybe the Unlicensed Hearse. We take one Narset out and one something else. Maybe an Undying Mouse. Maybe... I don't want to take the Echo and Narset out. I, I mean, I don't know if we're really getting to that this game. I think it's still worth a try. I feel like the Narset maybe I just keep that. Do the unlicensed Hearst out and pull out one consider. And just hope they don't like hose the graveyard here somehow. I mean it's not gonna be a relic. They need their graveyard typically. Unlicensed Hearst would keep Darcy in check and unholy heat. Alright, we brought one back in. We brought one one unlicensed first. I, I I could see value there because unholy heat kills Archon. <clears throat> if we can control that, we keep Darcy as a non-threat. We keep Murktides as a non-threat, and we keep um, 
We keep Unholy Heat off as well. No lands. If we had a land, maybe. Maybe we go for it. Uh, this hand looks great. We'll keep, get rid of a Fatal Push here. I don't even know if I want to get rid of a Fatal Push here. Get rid of the Persist. You get rid of the Persist. I think two Fatal Pushes and I may be pitching one anyway. Seems really good. It's just Darcy. <sighs> Small regrets were had. All right, I think I want to grief here because I have two fatal pushes with their hand size where it's at. It just seems appropriate to take whatever they've got going on here and then battle the Darcy, which looks like they have two lands. <clears throat> All right, can a 4-3 beat a 1-1? One, one? Absolutely. And I have two fatal pushes, so that if they top deck counter spell here, we're looking really good. Oh, here comes the concession. Oh, oh, this game, it's amazing. I'll take the basic, why not? Just, just end them, just end the opponent. Concession, you done opponent? Pack it in, you're never gonna draw that bolt. 3-2. 3-2 with the extra Fatal Push. Double Fatal Push, the correct line there. Gets it done. Closing it out. Blue-black reanimator with a Narset Echo combo that we never got going. But it's there just in case. So you can have that really cool story about your FNM where you blanked your opponent's hand because of the combo. Blue-black reanimator. It did what it kind of is supposed to. It's got the Persist on Mark package. It finds the Archon, hopefully off of Consider, or put it into the graveyard. You have the Grief package here that you can use. Um, is it better than a Thoughtseize? It's kind of weird because a Thoughtseize would be one card. Grief, most times Pitch, then Undying Mouse is three, but you take two cards instead versus one for one. And the life loss, it, it's tough. It's tough to say which is better. It's nice to have a 3-2. I, I wouldn't go all in on the grief being in play and thinking you're going to win the game. I think that's where a lot of ephemerate grief players, uh, Solitude and Grief, the black-white uh, lists, get a little bit hung up. I know that the Rakdos scam list recently won a large event, and I think... As people learn to play against it, if you have just enough removal, uh, griefs just, they just disappear. And, and if you use most of your hand, it can be a problem. Ledger Shredder's a cool way to get these card Archons into the graveyard too. I, I like this list. This is kind of cool. I think while we have 20 lands and two rebirths here, 18 plus two, I would probably look to have two more lands, one more land minimum in this. The lands fell a little bit light, although there were plenty of times where we then started running and we grabbed four, five, six lands for some reason. You're never going to cast Archon, in my opinion, but if you can get to five, you can do some interesting things with Narset plus our Mark, Narset plus Persist. <laughs> Turn one Rabble, last god, heck yeah. Yeah, 3 two's not bad. 3 two's not bad, and I think... I think if you wanted to go a little harder on the echo plan, you could. You would just adjust accordingly and maybe a little more counter magic, smaller reanimation, or maybe not even reanimation. Maybe you have some really difficult creatures to get rid of. Uh, maybe you splash a little white for Teferi and you play like Dragon Lord Jojachai or something. I don't know. <laughs> But that's not bad. I think Sideboard could use a little love. This is going to be based on wherever they're going. Babs Brew, who I found this on Goldfish. Um, they might be specifically going for something in their local meta. I wouldn't, I wouldn't play the Ceremonious Rejections, personally. Um, Hercules Recall and Dressdown is doing a similar thing against 
the Urza Saga lists. I did like the Flusterstorm. That was good. The Collector Brutality and the License Hearst. I think your Rejections, your your Hercules Recall or Dress Downs, one of those could be a little more flexible. I like another Collector Brutality. I wouldn't hate to have a pair of Thought Seizes or something or uh, just straight Counterspell, and that could be in the main deck. Just because I, th I think... I think I'm afraid of like combo, even though I have all the griefs. Maybe I shouldn't be afraid of combo, but it seems like combo is ignored here. And while Collector Brutality can help, and I guess the Fluster Storms can, I'm just a little bit nervous that something else is going to get you. Anyway, Blue Black Reanimator with the Narsa package. It did some things. <laughs> it did some cool things.